Scalene triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Which statement is false? Well, I drew triangle ABC and DEF with the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. That's how similar triangles work. They also told us uh, that ABC was scalene, which actually means DEF is going to be scalene. Scalene means that none of the sides are equal, so it's not isosceles, it's not equilateral. In choice one, they said, is the ratio of ABC to BC equal to the ratio of D to EF? Well, you can write that as a ratio. AB over BC is equal to D over EF. And then I labeled the sides A, B, and C. The side that I labeled A was across from angle A. The side I labeled B was across from angle B. The side I labeled C was across from angle C. And the next thing I knew is that in similar triangles, you have to multiply each of the matching sides by some sort of number to get the corresponding side from the bigger triangle or the smaller triangle or whatever it is. In this example, I decided let's try to pretend that each of these corresponding sides are twice as big. So if this one over here is A, then this one over there is 2A. And if this one is B, then that one over there is 2B. If this one is C, that one over there is 2C. All the sides match up. Now it could have been any number that I wanted. It didn't have to be 2. So it could have been SA and SC and SB. But that number does have to be the same for each of them. Let's keep it simple though and let's just leave it as 2. Well, when you write AB over BC, then that's actually C over A. AB is the C and BC is the A. But DE over EF, well, DE is the 2C. From D to E, that's 2C. And from E to F, that's 2A, from E to F. So is that ratio false? Well, no, it's actually true because you can cancel out the 2's to realize that both sides are actually equal to C over A. So that one actually is true. So it's not false. What about AC over DF and BC over EF? Well, again, we just plug in the sides. And is this one true? Yeah, this one is true because you can cancel out the A's on the right side and cancel out the B's on the left side. In fact, you would have to put one on the top for each of them. You could put one on the bottom, but you don't need to. And you see that both of the ratios actually come out to one half. So again, they're equal, which means it's not false. Angle ACB is formed by starting at A and going to C and then to B. And that angle is actually equal to D, F, E. Why? Because in similar triangles, they have the same shape. If they have the same shape, that means their angles are going to have to be equal. The corresponding angles are going to have to be equal. And these two angles do correspond to one another. So this statement's not false either. For angle ABC, That does not correspond to angle E, D, F. And in fact, they can't be equal because they told us that it was a scalene triangle. So if this is my third angle over here, the side across from that angle must be equal to the side across from the other angle for those two angles to be equal. And since it's scalene, none of the sides are equal, so that can't happen. So that's the only statement that we know is false.